the show's doing so well over here that it just seems like uh, you know that they're real rece real real receptive <laughs> yeah it's been it's been really great somewhat yeah especially shooting here in location outside the tower of london over there um just the amount of traffic that's here and, and since you know it's matthew perry and myself uh, i guess it's highly visible we have a crane in the middle of the square here so it kind of draws a lot of attention anyway and uh so yeah it's, it's been a little crazy <laughs> Yeah, we had uh, Sarah Ferguson. We worked with her this morning. She was great, and she was funny. She was really, you know, really into it. She was, she was uh, real receptive to the material, and she had a good time with it. Yeah, we have uh, Richard Branson from Virgin Airlines, and uh, so that should be fun. I've never met him. I hear he's a fun guy to be around. Mainly, Joe is really excited to go sightseeing. And Chandler just hates the idea, and Joey, you know, is just 100% top to bottom tourist guy, and uh, embarrasses Chandler, and Chandler gets mad at him, they have a fight, and then they kind of make up, and then, you know, all hilarity. Well, I think so. Anytime you have two, uh, two of the main characters on any show, for that matter, uh, get married you know a wedding is a very special event to begin with so if you have two of your favorite characters on a show get married I, I think that sort of justifies it as a as a special episode yeah Oh, they've been great. They've been great. They've been terrific. And they, they're just really big fans of the show over here, I guess. So it's really nice. Yeah, they've been really nice. Yeah, it's been great. We just, uh... anyway, we're just really excited to be here. Like, look, look back there. Look how cool that is. You know, generally, we're just always on a sound stage, And we, uh, you know, we shoot it kind of like a play. And uh, that, of course, is a lot of fun. But when you get the opportunity to... Even go on location in Los Angeles, that's exciting, but much less have your whole crew and everybody come out to uh, jolly old England. It's, uh, it's really, really exciting. Because the show's kind of about, these last few episodes of the show have kind of been about us getting all excited to go to London, and then we realized in real life we're actually doing that same thing. So it's been a very surreal kind of little experience. I know. Well, somebody, we were shooting something before, and a Mercedes pulled right into the shot and went, good morning, Chandler. Yes. That was very fun. That was very cool. Good morning, man. Okay. There's. It's funny. They say Chandler. What do they say, Chandler here? Chandler. I was like, yeah, London, baby. <laughs> That's become like our catchphrase, actually, for the for the whole trip is London, baby. As um, Joey, uh, Matt LeBlanc's character, uh, says that throughout the story. So, yeah, I was really excited. Yeah, it actually uh, evolved organically from the story because I started to uh, fall for um, this character, Emily, uh, played by Helen Baxendale. Uh, and because of the romantic interest, I've been kind of doing the long distance relationship thing with her, uh, London, New York, back and forth. And, uh, and we decided to, to go all the way, I guess, and, and get married. So, uh, yeah, it, it seemed to come pretty uh, organically from the story, which was nice. Really well. I mean, it's amazing to me how many people uh, are, are excited about the show. I mean, everywhere, walking down the street, I don't know if you see over there, bunches of kids watching and so, uh, signing autographs. So it's really, it's really amazing to me. It's fun. Yeah, we had our kind of goodbye with Lisa last Friday night when we did uh, the last show in Los Angeles before coming here. And, uh, yeah, it's weird to think the next time we see her, she's going to be, you know, with, with the baby. <laughs> it should be great. And at first, you know, there's, there's always that uh, question, will the audience take to a love interest of one of the friends? And the audience, when we filmed in Los Angeles, and I, I did the proposal of marriage to her they were like cheering they were going out of their minds so uh, I think uh, I think they really took to Helen and um, and we did too we, we have a great time with her she's great I mean I don't think Rachel is 
is really happy about the um, the the marriage. Uh, I mean, she's happy for me, uh, for Ross, that is. But um, I think she has other feelings at work, and uh, I think both of us have. You know, Ross and Rachel both have a lot of feelings, and so nothing's nothing's easy. Nothing's that simple. So, yeah. You're gonna see. Uh, uh, a lot of comedy. I mean, this episode is really strong. Um, uh, a lot of romance and a lot of surprises. So it's it's and you get to see England. <laughs> so yeah, so it's good. You won't be disappointed. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, I I was here a year ago. Um, and I've been, like I said, twice in this last two months. And um, I knew how big the show was over here. It plays a lot on television. I, mean, I, I think I saw it like three times in one week, two reruns and one original. So um, I knew that, that it was really popular, and that part was really exciting for everybody to be welcomed. I'm a bridesmaid, because I'm Ross's sister. And, um, you know, there's there's... I mean, obviously, that's why I'm here. I mean, everybody's coming because we're all friends. But my involvement is just to probably cause some problems a little bit, but only because I, I, I'm such a control freak. I want to do it the way I would like to do it, and it gets in the way a little. Yeah, this is a, it's a, to me, this is extremely, just a really tight, funny script. This is an hour show, and it's just, it's really funny. I think the Super Bowl episode was an hour show. Although, this feels different because we did a little bit in England, a little bit in America, well, actually a lot in England and a little bit in America, and um, we're doing parts of each one. So it's, just, it's kind of broken up differently, but um, it'll, be, it'll be interesting. I'm, I'm really kind of curious to see what, what's going to happen when we film in front of the audience. That's the part that I'm the most nervous and excited about. That's awful. That's really awful. It's, it's always strange when one person is not there. It feels really weird. Um, we've talked to her though, Jennifer and I have, but um, miss her terribly. I don't know, it's just a really good show. It's, this is probably one of the best scripts I've read. First thing I thought was, how exciting, I wonder if I'm going. <laughs> Well, this one is the last episode of the season. That's all I'm allowed to say, no. Um, <laughs> and I know that it's a one hour show and there's, you know, a cliffhanger. I know that, it's really good. Um, <laughs> I know it's tough because you're, you're not you know, supposed to say so much. Oh, and it takes place here and in England. The weird thing is that everybody's doing something that I'm not doing, so that feels weird. I don't like that. But I'm very happy to not get on a plane for a lot of hours and... <laughs> Sorry. I'm not a good traveler. I'm just not. But, um, yeah, no, a part of me really wishes I could go. But it's gonna be, it's gonna be really hard work. It's actually gonna be very, very hard work and the kind of schedule that we never have <laughs> over here, you know? So it's gonna be tough. But, but really exciting, just because everyone's just so excited, I think, that the show's coming there. I thought, oh no, an 11-hour plane ride. <laughs> it's, honestly, I panicked because I'm not a good flyer. So I, I kind of dwelled on that up until, I guess, until we landed, and then it was great. And now, and it's like very exciting. It's really just the idea of bringing our entire family over here is like, it's wild to see all of our faces, our familiar crew, and, and you know, the writers and everybody. It's just wild to be on this, it's like we're all on a big vacation. I mean, I had heard, I would heard that it's a big hit there and you know, but you really don't understand it until you get here. It's, it's 
it's really quite wonderful and flattering and overwhelming, truthfully. You know, it's, it's, it's wild. It's wild. Okay, Ross is, is getting married to this young woman named Emily, and um, I set him up by accident, not knowing that they were going to, of course, fall in love. Um, and, um, and then they've, they've gotten married, and since she lives here, they've all sort of traveled over. And I don't think Rachel's dealing that well with the whole situation, but I think she was in an extreme state of denial up until a certain point, and then uh, she kind of lost it a little bit. <laughs> It'll be different, that's for sure. It's going to, um, well, what is it? I mean, we have these wonderful actors as an addition. It's not necessarily an element added to the show, but yeah, I guess it's definitely, who are wonderful and bring the show to a whole other level because they're, the, the sensibility is just a bit different and it's just, it, it's, you kind of sit back and you go, oh, okay, that's a whole other, that's, that's amazing. And you kind of, are opened up to a whole new realm of what comedy is all about. Oh, it's awful that Lisa's not here. It's just not, it's just, it's just, uh, we feel like we have a, like a limb missing. It's sort of, um, we just miss her terribly. I mean, the girls are lucky because... Oh, Mrs. Walker, I need to speak with um, either one of the best men or Ross's sister, Monica. And that's Lisa. Can they hear her? Oh, I'm, I'm speaking to yeah. Buffet. I'm one of Ross's best friends. How did you get this number? I got it from your maid. She's a bitch, but I wore her down. <laughs> Hey, that just almost made me cry hearing her voice. <laughs> yeah, because um, I can't fly. I'm having my brother's babies. Apparently so. Uh, I didn't um, really realise the extent to which uh, it has such enormous appeal and and. Uh, and that David Trimmer is such a, a big kind of sex symbol. But um, yeah, people keep getting to me, my God, have you kissed David Trimmer? <laughs> Only on telly. <laughs> well, um, it's got a massive following in Britain and uh, particularly amongst sort of my generation. Uh, and, uh, and they were all rather astounded when I, um, when they first heard that I got it. They heard it from the newspapers because I was all, I was in Los Angeles at the time. And um, I just think, well, it, nobody was expecting it, least of all me. And um, so it's just surprising, really. Everybody comes to London because uh, Ross has asked me to marry him and I say yes. And, um, and so we arrange a big wedding in London in the um, hall where my mum and dad got married. Um, things go a bit wrong. It was interesting just because I'd never, well, it, it was such a world away from my own experience and, and what I knew. And um, yeah, it, it was just peculiar because it's such a, I mean, it really is quite a, an enormously famous program in, in Britain. And, um, and even though I wasn't a, a real watcher every week, the, the look of the set and, and, the, and the actual characters are so sort of ingrained in your subconscious that I found myself on this set in Los Angeles. I'd never been to America before in my life. And, um, and I was sitting opposite Monica and Phoebe and I just thought, oh my God, this is weird. It's just absolutely surreal. And uh, yeah, so, so they were really, really lovely to me. And uh, obviously they're real people, which you tend to forget. Have I watched it? I've, I watch it all the time and videos of it because my children love it. They absolutely love it. They watch it so much. I, they gave me a briefing on who everybody was, what they were doing, what the next series was about. I mean, I really love it. Well, I just like the whole show. It just makes me laugh, the whole thing. But um, um, I was really excited to be here today, you know, because it's the first time I've ever done anything like this and I really enjoyed it. Haven't they got to wait and see, see us what we're going to do when it comes on the, on the actual live? But it's great, it's great, it's funny. 
Well, I'm not funny, but they're funny. <laughs> Well, I think I only most likely will stick to my entrepreneurial career and my ballooning career. Um, somehow remembering the words is something which I'm not very good at, but it was great fun. <laughs> I think I've watched every single episode of Friends. Um, we, we, we took this wadges and wadges of cassettes on the holiday. And I realised that, um, you, know, my, my, you know, I like to think my children could be proud of me for various things, but I knew that the only thing they'd ever be proud of me for is appearing in Friends, so I had to do it. <laughs> Oh, it's, I, I suspect that Friends is as popular here as it's anywhere in the world. I think, you know, if you look around here and you see the, 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 the hundreds of people who are sort of queuing up just to catch a little glimpse of people who, who perform in Friends, you can see how popular it is in England. I do. I do. Oh, you're right. It's definitely the second one, right? <laughs> and reset. What was all that about? There was this disagreement. Oh, over... my God, you, you look beautiful. Oh. Oh, you're not supposed to see me now. It's bad luck. I think we've had all the bad luck we're going to have. Okay, so will you say hi to my friend and tell me you like my hat? Oh, what's your friend's name? Chandler. Okay. Hello, Chandler. Everyone take four D and E cameras. Okay, Ben. Okay. Set and camera. Background. Action. Right. What's Mr. Abby? Hands down, best Abby I've ever seen. <laughs> what do you think of the Abby Chandler? I think it's great, it's great. You know, they're thinking of changing the name of this place. Really? What? To put the camera away! <laughs> Man, you're Westminster Crabby. <laughs> So, what are you uh, fine young gentlemen in the market for? Um, pennants, um, souvenirs, uh, hats, um, uh, souvenir postcards, essential massage. What? Souvenir postcards. Hey, hey, check this out. Huh? Oh, yeah. You'll be beating the ladies off with a stick, or better yet, this Union Jack umbrella. What you've got to do is you uh, buy one for the price of two and uh, you get the second one for free. Yeah, seriously, well, what do you think? Uh, trying to do something. Come on, do something. I am, I'm ignoring you. All right, you suck. Here, I'm going to be the on-camera guy. All right. Where to? Oh, what is that? London, baby! All right, we are here. No, 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 no. We're here. No. It's a little confusing. <laughs> All right, I know what I got to do. And that 
was all before 10 o'clock. And then the caterer rang to say it's going to be chicken Kiev instead of chicken tarragon. And then the florist phoned to say that there aren't any tulips. Oh, and the cellist, he apparently has carpal pool tunnel syndrome. Okay, whoa, so I... sweetie, whoa, okay. Well, up yours too. What? Oh, that's not what it means. No, no. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, that's, that's time out, okay? Sorry, Sweetie, sorry. just, you gotta relax. Everything's gonna be great, okay? Yeah. Chicken Kiev? Mm-hmm. Doesn't that sound yeah. delicious? I was excited to come, but I was very surprised. Were you? Yes, I was surprised. Well, the excitement is tangible. And we have great uh, English character actors who are working with us. Oh, yeah. And an opportunity to interact with the English crew. And uh, with uh, the show being so popular uh, uh, here in the United Kingdom, uh, it, it's a great opportunity for us to uh, taste some of the uh, energy, especially from the rest of the English-speaking world. Uh, that this show evokes. So it's very exciting being here during the show. It is. I was absolutely stunned. It's wonderful. They've been waiting outside for days to come in. And uh, it's very exciting. I mean, they're very popular at home, but I didn't know they would be as popular here. Well, uh, I thought perhaps they'll give us more money for the first <laughs> segment of next season. <laughs> so popular and we're doing more here than uh, than we thought we were going to do so Ross does take after his father and his father is a very sexy man that's very nice it's the nicest thing she's ever said <laughs> that's because we're on camera you should hear her off camera <laughs> They're just very different. Uh, they, they don't seem to uh, really talk to us. Well, uh, that's Well, my also, one of the things that's so difficult is in usually traditionally the uh, father or the family of the bride pays for the wedding. Yeah. And so we've uh, acquiesced to pay for half of the wedding, which is a bit beyond tradition. And uh, in the script, we discover that the dude, played by uh, Mr. Conti, is uh, remodeling his whole house. So it's a little difficult to swallow and digest. Because we feel a little taken advantage of. As if we're the ugly Americans and we're being terribly taken advantage of. But I, I don't want to uh, get gas right now. <laughs> it's very upsetting. Oh, it's all so pretty. The parks. St. James Castle, call the Queen Mom. Tell her that you enjoy watching Friends and that you know us, and she'll have you over for tea. Like, like that. <laughs> and bring your laundry because she's got, she'll do it for you. It's fabulous. The family here is amazing. That's why we're here. Yeah. Not I, sure. I, I watched it for, well, from when it first came out and most British people were trying to hate them for being beautiful and funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, I've been a fan. My fa whole family is, it watches it religiously. Do you have a favourite character? No. I don't have a favourite. I think they're all wonderful. They're all engaging in their own ways. I have a daughter, and that's how, that's how I started watching it. She said, but, Daddy, you must watch this. It's really wonderful. I don't really watch sitcoms much. And and then you know, one sitting, and I was hooked. I flip. <laughs> yeah, it's just one it's week. I'm clever. like crazy on Chandler. The next week, Joey is just the cutest thing on earth. And then something about David Schwimmer's eyes get you, you know. And all the girls. And the are girls, lovely. Phoebe. Oh, <laughs> they're just a lovely. They're fantastic. And Monica's got so great. Monica, mm. I used to think, hmm, but Monica's character now is so strong. Yes, very. We're the, we're the in-laws. We, we're about to be Ross's in-laws. You said yeah. we're, the, we're the Brits that you love to hate. Yeah. It's basically a, a let's kick the Brits up the butt episode, really. <laughs> we're quite happy to kick the Brits. The Brits need kicking up the butt sometimes, <laughs> don't they? They get an awful lot of it recently, though. Yes. Every English person is a bad person. Every Irish person is a good person in yeah. all the movies. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, what's impressive is, is the way the, pr the producers control the whole thing. I mean, they, they know, they recognize every nuance. Um, and if, if, if someone improvises a line, and Jennifer says a funny line, and she actually says many, you know, out of her own head, um, then they're suddenly in the, in the script, you know, two hours later, they're all taken down. So they don't miss anything. And, 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 and they, they abide by the adage, get to the best round you. Yeah. Um, and that's the only way to be successful, is not to have competition between actors or, or you know, directors and such like that, everybody working together and well to get as good a show as you, as you can. And these, the, 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 you know, the friends are just sensational performers, aren't they? Sensational. They, sensational. They, they make, they make humour out of nothing. And relaxed and friendly and... Yes, they're an example to us all. Seemingly sane, I don't know, but yeah. seemingly sane. Yeah. I mean, it's quite a lesson, really. We're extremely grateful to how, how welcoming the Friends cast has been to us as visitors to the yeah. show. I mean, they, they're here, they're jet-lagged out of their minds, they're working very hard, and they've shown us extreme courtesy and, and friendship, and we're grateful Absolutely for that. Absolutely right. It's been, I mean, it's been a bit of a dream come true. Mm. Great fun. I have watched Friends. I must admit I'm not a regular uh, watcher because I must admit occasionally I'm actually in bed and asleep <laughs> because it's on rather late. But I did the other night. I watched three episodes running and I'm a great fan. I think they are all marvelous. And having worked with them, uh, you know, the way they go about it is quite different uh, from the way that we do um, a situation comedy show. Um, they, they spend so much time and they take everything from every angle, you know, and just make the best possible show that they can, which is wonderful. But the, uh, the, the guys, as uh, friends might call them, um, the guys and gals, are just terrific. I am the housekeeper to the Walthams, the um, English part, and a rather snooty, um, one who likes to tell everybody how to behave <laughs> and get sent up rotten by Phoebe. <laughs> ah, that is, that is a very good point. She's on the telephone because uh, she is uh, pregnant and she didn't come over with the, uh, with the others. So we have phone calls at a distance, which is not too bad for Joey because they are so familiar with each other and their timing and everything. But to a sort of complete stranger, uh, she's been pre-recorded. So you have funny little gaps, you know, you're on the phone. But actually, when it all comes together, it won't seem like a gap. So you have to play pretending there aren't any gaps type acting. <laughs> I just got a phone call, very small part, couple of lines, do you want to do it? Sitting next to uh, Jennifer Aniston and I went, oh, wait a minute, do I want to sit next? No, oh, okay then. Yeah, I'll do that. And we had to sort out the fee that I had to pay the production in order to do this part. And we agreed a fee and uh, I've, I paid it cash before I even came into the studio. And so they said, fine, you can do it. I do watch Friends. Well, you know, who doesn't watch? Well, obviously there are some people who, who don't watch Friends, but, but no, I do uh, and, and, and love it very much. It's a, it's a deeply funny show. It's like, um, it's a very hard thing to answer because you, you fast not one, you say that Chandler. Now that, you know, that is a character and a performance in it. I just love everything that guy. And then as soon as someone mentions that, well, I love, I love Joe, and you go, yeah, wait a minute, I love Joey too. And you know, you, you can go around, you just go on and on forever. It's, a, it's such a beautifully balanced show, beautifully balanced cast, it is terrific. Yes and no, I was surprised in the way they wrote it in, which I thought was so great. It was perfect. Um, because I don't know that the show is ready to have a baby all the time. 
in it. So I thought the way they did it was just perfect. And that's how smart they are. You know, and that's how, that's also what I mean. We can just trust them, you know, and where they're taking the show, you know. So, no, it was great. And I can't think of a better job to get pregnant on, <laughs> you know. They've just been great. They've been so great and so, I mean, genuine joy about, like, some of you are pregnant here. And then there are, like, three other women who work on the show that are pregnant, you know, that you don't know. They're behind-the-scenes people. But it's just like there's, like, a, a lot of pregnant women around here. It's great. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see what that's like. Because um, right now everybody is, not right now, <laughs> that's going to change. But they're already really excited and very... Um, maternal and paternal already, which has really touched me a lot and been a really nice surprise. So, especially the guys, that's been a big surprise that they're so, they're so into it. They're always touching my stomach and, you know, just want to, you know, because a, a nice thing. Um, <laughs> but they're really into it. It's nice. It's like driving a car with three tires. You know what I mean? I mean, luckily we shot all of her stuff. She's in the episode all the way through it on the phone and things like that. So we shot all her stuff. We shot her out uh, last week, or the week before, or last week. I don't know. I can't remember. And uh, now, it just now we're just shooting the rest of it, and it just—it's a little weird to all of us be here without her. But you know, can't think of a better reason. You know, she's gonna have a beautiful little baby next month. I kind of figured this one was going to be a little crazy, just because there's so many people here walking around, you know, people from all over the world are here, and the show plays all over the world, so, look, it's all, it's all great for the show, the show's great, we're all really proud of it, the writing has stayed sharp and crisp and clever every year, and, you know, I don't know what else to say, I mean, like, the proof is in the punch, you know, it's, it, people watch and they laugh, and, so we'll keep doing it as long as it's, you know, the, the constants stay the same. We've got producers that really care, we have writers that really care, and we have actors that really care, and we have a crew that really cares. And that, you know, that's a great combination for a show that's got longevity in it. And I, I think that's, it's a nice thing to be a part of, it really is. Uh, I guess if I had to suggest one place that's a must-see thing in London would be... Uh, <laughs> McDonald's. Pretty good. Good eating. Yeah, it's incredible because, you know, we've, we've gone through some of that in, in L.A., of course, and, but now we're, you know, we're over in Europe and we're getting a similar reaction. So it's, I'm just so proud of the show that I'm on, and it's just it's also really nice that it's working over here, too. So it's, it's very cool. I don't know if anybody knows about this place, but there's a place here called McDonald's that, first of all, it's fast. Whatever you order there, you get it, like, right away. And it's just great burgers and, and kind of a fun hang. So if you come to London, I would, rec I would recommend uh, checking out one of these McDonald's places, if you can find one. The parks are beautiful here. I would I, I'd go through the park. I would go to the museums. I would definitely hit the theater here. It's a great, great theater city. Um, and uh, I haven't been out to many restaurants yet, but I, you know, it's 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 really beautiful. A lot of history here, and it's it's really it's a great education. Uh, no, 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 no. If you're coming to London, you should definitely take a trip up the Thames on a boat because it's you see everything the Thames is the best part I think of London when I go over the Thames in the morning and I go to work or something I just get a little bit of a, a warm spot in my heart and I go oh I live here it's beautiful
right. Westminster Abbey. Hands down, best Abbey I ever seen. What do you think of the Abbey, Chandler? Oh, I, uh, I think it's great. You know, they're thinking of changing the name of this place. Really? What to? To put your camera away. Man, you are Westminster Crabby. So say hi to my friend and tell him you like my act. Okay, so what's your friend's name? Chandler. Okay. okay. Hi, Chandler. Well, I'm not going to have to buy that I'm with stupid t-shirt anymore. Well, I like it. He's, uh, he's just jealous. The, uh, all Londoners, all London, Londoners wear them. Okay, then how come no one here is wearing one? They're just tourists. So, what do you find, gentlemen, in the market for? Secondhand trains, planes, uh, hats, uh, souvenir postcards, sensual massage? What? Second-hand postcards. Hey, check this out, huh? Oh, yeah. That's the stuff, huh? What do you think? Well, I don't think I want to buy that uh, I'm a stupid t-shirt. Well, I like it. All right, look, you're not gonna really, really going to buy that, are you? Mm -hmm. Because don't you think you've embarrassed me enough for one day? Oh. I embarrass you? How can I answer that when I'm pretending I don't know you? He's just jealous. You'll fit right in. All Londoners wear those. Oh, really? Hold on, hold on. 
time, one at a time, one at a time. Yeah, they're they're all up here. Yeah! USA! USA! What we're gonna do? Hey, you guys are you guys are throwing back ones that I signed. Who else is there? Yeah. On um, Jennifer. No one else, just David and myself and Helen Baxendale today. Okay. And that was all before 10 o'clock. And then the caterer rang to say that it's going to be chicken Kiev and not chicken tarragon. Oh, and then the florist rang to say that there aren't any tulips. Oh, and the cellist, he has carpal tunnel syndrome, so we're not going to be. Whoa, Emily, honey. <laughs> I can't wait to see where you guys are getting married. Yes, this place is so beautiful. Emily's parents got married here. I still can't believe they're tearing it down. I mean, it really is the most beautiful building you'll ever see. It's just there. Oh my God. It's nice. Oh. It's quite English, I think. It's quite sarcastic, so it's probably why it's popular. Okay. <laughs> I've got people in Canada that I know that are jealous that I'm, I'm going to see them and they're not. Um, the Canada are waiting for them. We travel 329 miles. No, she's lying. Actually, it's more like 200. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four. So no one told you life was gonna be this way. Jive's a joke, you bro. So love lasts me away. It's like you're always stuck in second gear. And when it hasn't been your day, you wake your month, or even your year. But I'll be there for you. When the rain starts to fall, I'll be there for you. If you're planning on doing that throughout the entire flight, please tell me now so that I can take a sedative. <laughs> or maybe slip you one. I'm sorry. Very sorry. <laughs> Whew. It's just, uh, I'm kind of excited. I'm, uh, I'm going to London.
Darling is the gallows. <laughs> Darling, the gallows. She's horribly self-involved, you know. <laughs> it was something of a mistake to marry her. <laughs> It's the gallows. Well, that's one, and, and that's another one. <laughs> How do you do? I love it to meet you. Jolly decent of you to offer to pay for half the wedding. Oh, forget it. Uh, the hell with tradition. We're happy to do it. Oh, yeah. We know how expensive weddings can be. Yeah. Besides, it may be the only wedding we get to try. <laughs> now, I might be able to get you the new lawn. Uh, then you have to give us the lawn ornaments. <laughs> back there with lawn ornaments, he's going to laugh in my face. Well, this is ridiculous because we had an agreement. Will you say something, Stephen? <laughs> Don't take that tone with me. Oh, my God. Oh, it's like a fairy man. Yeah, it's horrible, isn't it? <laughs> well, I love it. I only hope my wedding looks this good. You were permitted to lawn ornaments there. Yeah. <laughs> Action! Oh. oh my God! It's like a fairyland. Oh, it's horrible, isn't it? <laughs> well, I love it. Oh, I only hope my wedding looks this good. Yeah, I just hope. You can let some of them go by. <laughs> 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 